channel in today's video before i get started i am very very sick but 2023 i made a promise to myself that i was going to be consistent no matter what and this is literally no matter what so yeah um if my voice is kind of like raspy or i don't know if it sounds sick it's because i am in today's video i'm going to be doing a what's in my traveling bag slash traveling essentials that you may need everything that you could think of i literally have it in my travel bag so in today's video i'm going to show you what's in my travel bag i have two and i'm going to explain <laughs> why i got two well technically it's three but the other one i'm not going to show in this video but y'all see exactly what i'm trying to say so this is my first traveling kit that i have when i go out to like different places road trips or whatever now i haven't been on a plane in so freaking long it's probably been like 11 years since i've been on a plane so i'm not too sure on what not to bring on a plane or what to bring but this is mostly for like road trips or you know small getaway trips that you can go on so this is my bag that i got from amazon i got this like some years ago like four years ago um but it keeps everything that I need inside and it's perfect for me. And then I have this bag. Um, it's just a drawstring bag full of like hair stuff. So this is mostly like um, skincare, things for your, you know, shower and stuff like that. This is for hair, like specifically for hair. Um, I do wigs, so I usually carry certain things for my wigs when I'm going out. And this is the perfect place to put it. So yeah, and then my other bag is optional. Like if you wear makeup, then you can like have a separate bag for that. But for me, it's optional because I don't always wear makeup. Usually it's just like foundation um, and lip gloss and that's it. But yeah, so without further ado, let me get into what's in my bag. And hopefully you guys um if you're new to like getaway trips like if you're just if you have strict parents and like you're just becoming a young adult and they're finally letting you step out a little bit then this is the video for you or if you just don't know what to pack then this is also the video for you so yeah i'm going to get into what's in my bag so when you open my traveling bag i have this big <clears throat> whoa this big compartment full of things full of things as y'all can see y'all probably like that is so unnecessary so that's that this is how it looks it has one two three four five compartments and i'm going to get into what i have up here of course i have my toothbrush and my toothpaste then i have um this up and up brand version of pepto-bismol caplets this is mostly for like um your digestive relief for like an upset, a upset stomach, heartburn, diarrhea, nausea, stuff like that. So, I mean, hey, I cannot take it out because even if I don't get sick, there might be that one time I do get sick and I'll be like, I should have never took it out and I need it. So that's why I always have it in here. Even if I don't need it, I just, just in case. So the next thing I have is a nail clipper because I don't know about Shaw, but like, those little nail things on the side the little skin that be peeling off and like you kind of like try to rip it off and it hurts so bad yeah I get those frequently and it hurts so I try to keep a nail clipper with me everywhere I go like I have one right here on my nightstand because like that's just one thing I really need then I have um, some nail glue now y'all probably like okay girl what I listen i get my nails done i do my nails so like if it pops off i can glue it back on <laughs> so that's why i have that some advil so bio oil is what i have next if you need something to moisturize your skin or something to prevent dark marks scarring i definitely suggest bio oil now to each his own i heard that bio oil don't, doesn't work for everybody but it definitely works for me so that's all that i have on the top compartment the next compartment i have um hand sanitizers now these little packets you can get from target or amazon um i usually keep these in every bag that i own just because even if i'm not using the bag i just keep it everywhere just in case i, I forget like my bigger hand sanitizer then i have like some rubber bands 
because I do my hair often and I guess I might need it one day. So right here, um, y'all probably like, what in the world is that? <laughs> but this is my um, vitamin E oil, but it's in a, like a little caplet form, little thing. And you just like, you use the scissors, you clip it off, and then you get like vitamin E and aloe. So yeah, um, if you have any type of face lotion that you use for your face, then you can put it in there. But this is something that I mix with my face lotion just to get that extra moisture in my skin. So yeah, this is vitamin E oil and aloe. So I'll put the picture on the screen on what it is, but it definitely works for the scarring and my acne. Then I have floss because like who is not flossing their teeth nowadays? If you're not flossing, then ill. So that's it for this compartment. Now in this compartment is mostly like um, individual packets that I have. So the first thing I have in that compartment is alcohol wipes, some tissue, so many packets of disinfecting wipes by Clorox because if you're going away to like a getaway or a hotel or an Airbnb, wherever you're going, you have to disinfect your area. I also carry Clorox disinfecting mist with me as well and these go very good if you're trying to disinfect wherever you're at so then i have a shower cap if i don't have my other shower cap that i'm going to show later on in the video but these are disposable ones stain remover for your clothing all these toilet seat covers because one thing for sure if i'm having like a bad stomach day and i cannot hold it in for any longer or Whatever the case may be, I'm not sit sitting on nobody's toilet. That's one thing I'm not gonna do. Now, usually I would stand over the toilet and pee, but if I really cannot take it and I have to sit down, I'm not sitting on nobody's bare toilet. So, I carry toilet seat cover. Then I have hand wipes with me. And that's all that's in this compartment right here. Um, it kind of looks so messy right now. I'll fix that later. But we got down to one, two, three compartments. Now the next compartment of my travel bag is nothing much really. I just have this little bag of like, what is in here? I don't even know. Um, oh, this is my eye mask. Because one thing for sure, I cannot sleep in any type of daylight. I cannot sleep with the lights on. Then I have two washcloths. And then I have emergency face masks. Alright, so going into the last compartment, these are the most needed essentials like these are like these are needed and everything All right so like i was saying these items are essentials but i feel like this compartment is very necessary and we're just gonna get into it very quickly i don't want this video to be too long so yeah all right so the first thing i have is face wash then i have a little razor so cute i got it from target um do i recommend this now no but when i first got it it was like four dollars and i was like seven and i was like wait a minute wait a minute from four dollars or five to like seven no ma'am it's really convenient because it's small and tiny and cute and it comes like in a little case i thought that was so cute but just carry your regular razor at this point <laughs> then i have insect repellent so I keep Dr. Bronner's on me as well. Then I keep a pain relieving spray with me as well because like, I don't know, I'm clumsy. So I do things that's gonna injure me. Have lotion, deodorant, and y'all like, when you're traveling, it's so nice and convenient to like have little items, like the little traveling deodorant. But them little things be like $3 for like this size, like from here to there it'd be like three dollars and i'm not doing it so i usually keep my regular size deodorant with me blisterine then i keep this little case um i would put sunscreen in here sometimes so of course it's not in here now but yeah this usually have sunscreen in it lysol fabric spray this is for your clothes um you know to spray to make it you know smell more refreshed like laundry these are trash bags for dogs but i like to use them for like personal items like you know your pads so these go really good if you're like in a public bathroom you don't want to have your pad exposed everywhere lint um a lint removal oh a lint roller i said removal i mean 
eh, yeah, a lint roller. Then I have all feminine products with me. Um, very like necessary if you're going away, like away, away. Just keep so many tampons, pads, whatever you use on you, just keep a lot in there. Now, this is not as much as I usually would keep, but I did remember using some, so that's why I had to like restock. But if you're a female who get periods regularly, please stock up on so many pads, panty liners, um, tampons in your traveling bag is so important so important so then i have a dove bar soap african black soap so then i have some toilet spray by the brand airwig this is the lavender scented um it's called vi poo whatever but it's like similar to poopery but this is so much better so you spray it inside your toilet before you um take a poo and i don't know like if you're like in a rush and you don't have time to be spraying your toilet you got to really sit down then you can also use bath bath and body works um room spray and just spray the bathroom so but whichever one works for you i mean if you're really like running to the bathroom and you can't hold it no more you don't got time to be spraying your toilet so i understand that but if you you know want the room to smell good then you can also use the bath and body works room spray so i keep these on me some q-tips i have a what is this this is a first aid kit a little tiny one then the last two things that i have is some body wash that cannot fit in this kit so i usually keep it out of there so i have this olay one and then i have some fragrance free cleansing wipes because any type of wipes baby wipes cleansing wipes whatever is very beneficial in the bath so that's what's in my traveling bag as far as skincare stuff essentials I'm gonna quickly go through my hair care bag for traveling as well because any females out there that like to do do their hair wigs whatever these are some necessary items that I like to keep on me when I'm traveling as well so I'm gonna just quickly go through it and that will be it for today's video so this bag um it came with a wig that i purchased a long time ago but i use it for like to travel and stuff like that so the first thing that i have is a shower cap then i keep a bonnet on me i keep a, a hair net with me i i have so many of these like it's not even funny and i use these for wigs as well like it's for natural hair but like i use it for my wigs just to wrap it around um and it works really good so i keep that with me i keep a hair scarf y'all probably like okay now you're doing the most a, a edge band to wrap my edges hair tie then i have a traveling um hair comb what is this a hot comb so i have a traveling hot comb and i got this from amazon i usually would bring like the biggest one that i have because that's all i used to have but i found a traveling one and it's so convenient so you know um it doesn't take up a lot of space and it just works really really good then i have a little hair straightener um so cute and tiny and it, it does run wonders now listen it's very time consuming because it's very tiny like you got to use like little pieces of your hair and that takes a while um compared to like a bigger flat iron you could just do it and that's it but i'm i don't want to carry a big flat iron with me i really don't so i usually will carry like this little tiny one and i got this from amazon um and like i said it's very convenient you know so i recommend i recommend <laughs> i have a hair pick i have a hair clip and i have a comb a brush and an edge brush um i got this from shein so it comes with a comb an edge brush and a regular brush so then i have this little thing it comes with some hair ties and then i added some barbie pins right here because you just never know some dry shampoo some edge control some hairspray got some got to be glue spray some gel and the last but not least oh i look crazy some oil sheen spray for your hair so i keep all of that in this little bag right here um yeah 
I I don't know like it looks like a lot of items but I promise it's all so necessary at least for me I don't know like y'all probably like okay you're doing so much like that's so unnecessary and I could agree like it's, it's a lot it's, it really is but when you're traveling and you just need something I don't want to go to the stores to buy something that I already have at home because I left it at home. I want to actually have everything on me prepared and everything. So I figured like, how about just carry everything that you may need? Even if you don't need it, just carry it just in case. Because I'm the type of person, I be needing so much things when I'm not home. I be needing this, that, and the third. And just like, okay. I could have carried that with me, but why didn't I? So I carry everything with me now. And some optional things that you can carry with you that I, I really didn't show in this video. Some chargers, um, portable chargers, whatever. So I usually keep these in my luggage. Like all of these items that I have, like my traveling case, it stays in my luggage. I do not take it out. I just leave it in my luggage. So whenever I'm ready to go out, I'm already ready. So... Be ready so you don't have to get ready. Hey girl, let's go out. Let's go on a road trip. All right, I'm ready. You ain't gotta tell me twice. So I, I just I just like to be ready. So I know that was a lot of information, <laughs> but I hope you guys, you know, got some recommendations on some things to carry on in your bag. This video was so long and I'm sick. So I'm going to bounce. Thank you guys for watching give it a thumbs up comment down below and oh my gosh i forgot to mention this but thank you so much for 250 subscribers ah! um it's only up from here 2023 i told myself i'm going to be more consistent on my channel and i'm making that a promise like i'm sick me last year being sick i would have never thought about filming like no but i'm actually trying to be consistent even though i'm working a full-time job this is my first full-time job ever it's really hard to try to make videos but like i'm going to make it away i'm gonna make it away thank you guys for watching again leave a thumbs up comment down below and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video bye